Well, on to Deal Street now in the special discussion, the Grand Thornton Deal Tracker report shows a clear upswing in the M&A activity as well as private equity deals. To discuss that report in detail, I'm joined by the partner at Grand Thornton India. Hi, Raja. Thanks for joining us in CNBC TV 18. So a major upswing you have seen in, uh, you know, January to September period. But first, if I could get a word from you on the third quarter and what kind of an upswing you've seen with a particular reference to the month of September. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you look at the this year, it's around close to $36 billion of deals that have happened in, in the first nine months. And out of that, uh, $13 uh, billion have happened in the th uh, third quarter. And in fact, the third quarter is the best quarter as far as M&A and private equity is concerned in the last three years. So, so this is clearly the best quarter. And I think it just com completely reflects the current uh, business sentiment and the deal sentiment. So, so the up that we see uh, you know, uh, as far as deals are uh, concerned. You're saying best quarter that you have seen, and that's also a little surprising considering, you know, I remember you were here last month telling us how August had been a very tepid month for deal activity. Yeah, I mean, if you see, it's obviously, you know, one month may not be reflective of the action on ground. You know, if you look at September, we have some large announcements. Cognizance uh, a deal of $7 billion was a very, very large deal in healthcare space. And uh, we've also seen uh, KKR putting in money in GMR, in the private equity space. So, uh, and I think fundamentally, I think what we see is, you know, the overall, uh, I think, a positive uh, sentiment coming from uh, international countries, especially Japan, China, some of the government announcements that have made. I think it, it just makes uh, the, 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 the landscape of deal making much more convenient and suitable. So, so clearly, uh, you know, there, there seems to be formal action, uh, you know, expected to go. Raja, what's your outlook for the rest of 2014? We're heading into, you know, Thanksgiving season, Christmas season, New Year season. Are you expecting deals to very much continue? Which are the hot sectors? See, in terms of, I think, two key trends have emerged. I think one is inbound is significantly up, and the second is uh, domestic deals. Uh, you all see some more runbacks happening. Uh, I think in terms of sectors, uh, clearly a uh, top sector, in my view, would remain pharma healthcare. Uh, and second, uh, you know, would be oil and gas. And third would be IT. I think these are three sectors which will continue to, to remain uh, positive. And, of course, uh, not to miss out on e-commerce. Uh, you know, the billion-dollar fundraising by Flipkart uh, is, is obviously happened. So, so clearly um, expect a fair amount of deal action going forward. In fact, Raja, just to let you know, I don't know if you saw the channel yesterday, we had Kishore Biani saying in two days' time they will be announcing a new partner as far as e-commerce goes. E-commerce certainly sounding like a buzzword here. But thanks, as always, for joining us in CNBC TV 18 to discuss your deal tracker. We'll look forward to having you back next month. With that, we have to uh, slip into a short break, but don't touch that remote. The August industrial production data is expected any moment now. Lata Venkatesh and her expert panel will be taking the analysis forward. Stay tuned.